Katie Gibbis is a third degree black belt. She's been studying and competing in the martial arts since she was a young girl in Niagara Falls. Bring your hands up together like you're clapping. Bring those elbows Today, in. she's putting her skills and strength into down. starting an all women's martial arts class in downtown Syracuse, aimed at self defense. I like being able to do this because I feel like it's more beneficial than learning some of the forms and you know, fancy flying kicks and everything like that that aren't going to help you in real life. Now to what is quickly becoming one of the most disturbing pieces of video that's been circulating in a while. Violent acts against women like these are raising concerns on a national level. A recent sexual violence survey says nearly 20% of women are raped and one in six are victims of stalking. The actual numbers tell the story. In a recent year, the Bureau of Justice says more than three quarters of a million women were assaulted. And here in Syracuse, police report 75 forcible rapes occurred in 2012, and 50 people were assaulted just last month. Such crimes underscore a recent White House reinstatement of the Violence Against Women Act, mandating more prosecutions and faster police response to crisis. Self-defense classes like Katie's come in response to crimes against women. So again, hey, it's okay. I'll just, I'll be normal. Just leave me alone. And the martial arts is a way for women to be more proactive. This is when you could do that knee way. I'm not saying it's going to prevent every attack or help you get out of every attack unscathed, but it's always better to fight where you stand than let somebody take you somewhere. Taking a stand is a concept Tessie Bloodworth knows all about. She enrolled her three girls in a martial arts class after violence in her Southside neighborhood escalated. That's where Jenna, one of her daughters, was bullied. But that was only before Jenna learned the martial arts. I was on the bus once, a little boy hit her because she stood up for her sister. And she wouldn't tell us for a while. And now nobody can touch her. Syracuse police officer Esteban Trotman hosts the class for underprivileged kids. Young girls, he says, get more than just self-defense knowledge out of his training. So it teaches kids structure, it teaches them uh, self-awareness, awareness of their surroundings, but more importantly, it teaches them to be good citizens. But many women in central New York never had the chance to learn self-defense at a young age. Some of them attend accelerated self-defense classes that really pack a punch. While karate is one of the most common forms of martial arts, locally women are turning to what's known as Krav Maga, which is an Israeli combat and self-defense course. Renshi Will Clark teaches a Krav Maga course at Tierney's Martial Arts in Camillus. The combat class, he says, is intense, but of special benefit to women. In Israel, you have to serve in the military, no matter if you're male or female. So the system was designed knowing that, and knowing that you're going to have people of different sizes, different strengths, all different types of abilities. Um, so it works great for women. I'm going to be doing some traveling internationally and needed to just learn some basic skills. Although taking just one class won't make you an expert fighter, Gibbis says the knowledge gained is crucial. Knowing how to approach a dangerous situation empowers women of central New York to defy national statistics. In Syracuse, Regina Sevilla, NCC News.